Whoa, Nicholas, what are you doing on the big screen on a Sunday? I would ask myself that if I were you guys. I don't normally put out content on Sundays, but it's August, which means we are coming at you seven days a week. Not really, maybe. Here's what we're gonna do. Sunday, I don't typically upload content, but I do make appearances on other people's podcasts and channels and things like that throughout the week. So what I'm gonna do from now on is the things that I appear on throughout the week, I'm gonna upload on Sunday so that you guys can choose to watch or not watch or whatever. So today we have two things. We have one that's uploaded only via podcast and we have one that is uploaded in this video. The podcast I got on with Edwin, he is the PT for the Fantasy Points brand. We actually didn't really end up talking fantasy football, which is funny. Sent me over a show sheet, which was like 10, 12 questions about fantasy football. We ended up just talking about the fantasy football community and Twitter and branding within the space and shit like that. So if you're interested in that kind of content, hop over to BDGE fantasy football on the iTunes store or the podcast or wherever, wherever, wherever you listen to your podcast stuff, wherever the flavor is getting kicked into your ear, whether it's Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, Google, I don't know all the 30 of them that they have them on, but it will be up there. So if you want to listen to that, that is only audio. Today's video, this video is one of my man Peter Overs at. One of my favorite dudes in the industry. He's hilarious and he does a mock draft each week or an actual draft on underdog fantasy. So if you saw my mock draft on Thursday on underdog, we do the same thing, except he's got a twist to it. So he brings out one guest from the industry each week, every single Thursday night. I'm going to link Pete's YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to that. If you want to go see the other ones that he's put up, they're hilarious. Go follow Pete on Twitter and you can check out the ones that he does in the future. So what Pete does is he invites someone on and then he creates this wheel. We live stream at thurs on Thursday night, he creates this wheel of like 60 different questions or prompts that depending on when your pick is coming up, you spin the wheel once per round. And the wheel is including like really random rules that you have to do the draft with that's subjective to the person on the show. So for me, like the first, you, you guys will see it in the video after this, but the first thing that came up on the wheel was that I had to, before we made our pick, I had to tuck my shirt in 15 times in 30 seconds. If I didn't do that, we had to, I forget what the rule was, but we had to do something stupid. If I got it done, we got to choose whoever we wanted to as a player. So it's a bunch of funny, dumb prompts that we do for about an hour or so. And we did the draft through that. It was a lot of fun. So I figured I'd upload it for you guys. If you want to come draft with us on underdog, you can download the app, which will be linked in the description. It's probably the best place to actually practice for your fantasy draft because you're throwing in a couple dollars to actually do the draft. So people are taking it seriously. When you do so, make sure you use the promo code BDGE. I'm going to get people Pete's promo code too. So maybe every other one of you guys, some of you guys can sign up with Pete's promo. Some of you guys can sign up with my promo code when the partner code page pops up. Just wanted to give you a little bit of background of what's going to be happening on Sundays from now on. So any shows that I appear on, any podcasts that I appear on throughout the week that don't go directly to my channel or podcast will be uploaded on Sundays. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and make sure you are following Pete everywhere else on the socials as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, of course, Thursday night, which means it is time for another randomizer best ball stream. I have a very special guest joining me tonight. This was a man who a few weeks ago when I did the show with Ray G was hanging out in the chat being a real pain in my ass. And I said, if you can't beat him, you got to join him. So I'm bringing in right now the king of fantasy football YouTube, the big dog who's going to eat and who's going to drink tonight is, of course, Mr. Nick Ercolano. How we doing, brother? Dude, I'm super excited and uh, jumping in your randomizers on Thursday nights have become like the highlight of the midweek because my favorite pieces of content within the fantasy world are those in which you don't really have to talk too much fantasy. You know, you can <laughs> kind of just like bullshit around and drink a lot of tequila. And that's what we're in for tonight. Like I said, pre-show, I'm ready to sacrifice my body for the fans. Yeah. What uh, what uh, brand of tequila we got over there? That looks nice. Yeah, it's Aquila Ocho. So I just got turned on to this like very recently and I can't stop drinking it. Like not like it, it's just, you know, four o'clock hits. I'm like, I could, you know, do a little cup of tequila or whatever. Seven o'clock hits, eight o'clock hits. And now I can't 
stop doing it like nightly to become oh, a problem. I know. It is uh it's a problem. I don't do a lot of tequila just on the rocks. I'm a I'm a big Margs guy. We got them going tonight. Although last week on Wednesday night, I ended up doing a lot of shots of tequila during a draft. And so I, it ended poorly for me. So I just hope that you have a, a happier ending than I did. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know like what to expect drinking wise because I know sometimes you you have like a, a subtle pace to it. Sometimes you have guys that don't really drink much, and then other times you have guys like topping off the bottle of mezcal. And I'm like, I'm I need to at least mimic that when it comes to the tequila game. I'm a huge huge Margs guy myself. I actually have a, a Marg on my flesh, so oh, just to, wow. just to show you the dedication. Yeah, but I didn't have triple sec as I said pre show. I ran out of the ingredients. I'm I'm a fraud. I'm a farce. You can let me have it in the comment section. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know what I'm really doing drinking tequila straight. It's very irresponsible. It's all right. That's what this show is all about. It's about being irresponsible. So here's the <laughs> deal, guys. I am going to get us in uh, this $3, 12 person. My thought, Nick, is that if you and I are just creating an absolute shit team that we probably shouldn't ruin the integrity of one of these other contests, or do you think I'm completely overthinking it and we should just hop in the bubble? Um. Listen, I'm we're coming for blood regardless. Whatever gives us the most money, we're going to end up winning, so leave it at that. What let's do a bubble one tonight. Let's let's see we will fly a little close to the sun. You know, we don't want any other teams to build mega rosters, but that's the challenge I think we're up for tonight. Question. Yeah. When we take first place, are we splitting or do you take yeah. all 20k? Yeah, no, I mean, you will have to PayPal me $2.50 after <laughs> this. Uh but yeah, no, I'll go I'll go 50-50 with you on this. Cool. All right, we are Reg. Let's see how many more entrants we need here. Okay, we need the full draft room. So you guys in the chat, Nick, uh, do you have any words for these guys? Because they can be real assholes, as you know. I mean, do you want to threaten them? You want to encourage them? Good cop, bad cop? What are you thinking? I, I live in the muck, man. I live for these live stream YouTube comments. They they can't they can't get in my head. They cannot chirp me to. Oh, we filled up real quick. Oh, real quick. That was beautiful. People love the randomizer. Did we get anyone cool? Yeah. So listen, I they're not going to get in my head. I'm 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 I was the guy two weeks ago that was getting in your head. So you, you can't reverse engineer that. I'm ready to roll. Okay, but we are we have a challenge tonight, Nick, because the one thing about the randomizer is picking on the turn can be an absolute bear. And we have it right now, the turn, which means we're gonna have to we're gonna have the chips flying okay. tonight. 30 second clock. We might have to start doing a couple ahead. Or we just bang it out. I don't know, but this is going to be intense. I'm ready. Yeah, I, I think. Do you normally do you do two rules at a time, or you take one and then do the rule right after that for the second? See, it's been so long since I've been on the turn. Uh, the, one of the first times, I think it was me in in Mansion Fantasy Mansion, were on the turn, and I would do a couple of them back to back. Uh, we might have to do that. Uh, okay. Where we do one early and then one as we get closer once we have that one figured out. Uh, I can feel tonight's going to be crazy. It's going off the rails. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm going to be um, honest with you. Draft's underway. I think it's time to spin. We're picking at the turn here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on. Be good to the big dog. <laughs> okay. I I just tucked my shirt in once already. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get. Let me go to my stopwatch. Wait one sec, Nick. Uh, timer. Unbuttoned shirt. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna reset it, Nick. Here to or no, we'll do stopwatch. So what did it say? It said uh, 15 times in 30 seconds. I'm gonna start you here in three, two, one, one, two, three. I gotta pick up the pace. Four. It's five. Too many buttons. Six. On the shirt. I'm Come on, baby. Seven. Eight. Nine. You're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Woo! Fifteen. He did it. He did it. Holy cow, Nick. In the nick of time. That was Fucking good. go. That was good. I think that means we can pick whoever we want. We can pick whoever we want, Nick, here at the 11-12 turn. So because we have that in the bank, I think we have to spin for the second pick. Yeah, let's go quickly. Yeah, this is uh, – whoo, Nick, I am, I'm feeling uh, – I'm tired. Like that. I'm already – I might pass out halfway through. I might that wait. was impressive. So this is for our second pick. All right, Nick, we can do this. Okay. Anyone we want. In NFC South, we are now two picks away here. NFC South, 
Uh, this is where I always have to remember what that is. Is that the Saints? So we can go Julio. Yeah, Saints, Falcons, Panthers, Bucks. It's probably no one on the Bucks we want. We could look at Julio. There's no running backs in that thing that we're going to be able to get here. So I think we could probably – how you feeling about one of the running backs paired with Julio? What about Josh yeah. Jacobs, Julio? Thoughts? <laughs> Okay, so I'm not a huge Josh Jacobs guy. I'm terrified that he's not going to catch passes this year as much as everyone wants him to. That said, I am here to serve the guest. If Josh Jacobs is your guy, I will get a share of Josh Jacobs. Well, uh, Jacobs came out and said he's catching 60, which means we're going for 80 this year. I, there's a floor of 80 receptions. Jacobs, who, I, honestly, the over-under for Jacobs and Julio, look how many Jays are on the screen right now. Look at that. Four Jays. Right. Four Jays. Team alliteration. All right, we just did it. I, but technically, everyone who's going to call me a hypocrite saying I don't want Josh Jacobs, I we timed out. It just happened to be Josh Jacobs there. Uh, okay. It. I just, uh, it's this is like the retweets don't equal endorsements thing. You know, my selection of Josh Jacobs doesn't mean I, but I want Nick to have his guy. And we're going to start Josh Jacobs and Julio Jones. You could do worse. You're a good house. You're a good uh, owner of the podcast, man. You come in and you, you let me take control of this thing and. What is he? What is he wowing us about? He, he he knows that I haven't been drafting uh, Josh Jacobs. But look, when you tuck your shirt in fifteen times under thirty seconds, you've earned the right to pick that at the one twelve. I you tuck my done. shirt in before every one of my videos, so I you know I'd be remiss to say I'm, I haven't been practicing on a daily basis. Well, uh, you looked in in peak form. I don't. I think I'm topping out at eleven or twelve max there. Um, I don't even know if you could hit that, to be honest. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. I hope this prompt doesn't come <laughs> up again and I have to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Four pick three. Oh shit. I had meant to get my cards for this one. I knew this one was in here. Blackjack. Pete is the dealer. He will deal the guest a blackjack hand. If the guest wins, draft the best available player. If the dealer wins, draft an available player whose number is 21. One second. Let's go. Okay, Nick. Nick, are you a blackjack player? Uh, I'm a, I'm a blackjack loser, but yeah, I mean, I can, <laughs> I, can, I can play. Okay, so they're not they're not making any bringing down the house sequels about you. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, only thing I'm bringing down the house with is my shirt tucking ability. Okay, hang on. All right, we got 17 picks here. This isn't quite the stress. Um, all right, so I'm gonna deal these up so everyone can see them. So I'm gonna first deal your card, nine of hearts. I'm going to deal my dealer card, ace of hearts. Uh-oh. Nick, your second card is a three of spades. You're sitting with a 12. The dealer has a blackjack. This is fucking nonsense. You rigged it. I know you did. You but you acted like you had cards in the other room. You had the first four cards set up. Like, what is what is this? This is the long card. The long <laughs> card. Uh, long so what, are, I, what is I respect it enough. If the dealer wins, draft an available player whose number is near 21. Okay, uh, we need people. So there's got to be some running backs that are down in that range, right? In the 30s? Let's see here. Uh, NFL numbers. Does anyone have the number 21? Uh, Nick Chubb's 24. He's not going to drink. What, what, what's our next pick? Sorry, uh, we are going to be at the 212. Or no, sorry, the 312. Okay, so we got to think of players who actually might be available at that spot. Oh, no. Oh, no. They, The chat... Gurley, are you on Gurley this year? If we take Gurley, I'm I'm disconnecting. Oh God! I say that as a fact. Is he at number thirty-one? <laughs> they say he's twenty-one. Twenty-one. They on the nose. I mean, oh God, this is I'm so kidding. gross. I don't think Gurley will last to us. Some some fraud out there will take him before he gets to us. Did you see what I thought? It says his number's thirty. Did he change it to twenty-one? I, I, I think he might have changed it when he moved over to Atlanta. He probably got bullied. Some some dude who's an alpha over Gurley was probably like, "No, Gurley, you're not getting twenty-one, or you're not getting 30. Yeah. Oh Damn. shit, man, that is gross. Did you see the report too, where it's like he he can't even cut in the dirt still? I mean, it's, it, it's almost as if we knew he had arthritis in his knee or something. Oh my goodness, chat, come up with someone other than twenty-one. Someone. I, I I do have to do my due diligence and tag him here. Um, someone else mentioned Mark Ingram. That'd be pretty gross here too. But are you? Do you like Ingram? Uh, I'm not a. I'm just not a fan of these running backs that are out of their prime necessarily. What about Jonathan Taylor? He's he was 23 at Wisconsin, I think. Ooh, I like that. Let's I don't put. Know him, what he, let's I don't see. Know what he's at the Colts though. You, you know, know the chat for? is normally know it alls, and they're really leaving me hanging right now with these. Uh, 
23 there. So what is he on the Colts? You know what the problem? Yeah, we didn't get like, we don't have those pictures on Google where the guy's holding up their jersey next to the GM and shit. So we don't know what they're actually going to be like on the new team. It's true. It's true. Okay, someone said Zach Moss is 20. That's pretty close. What are your thoughts on Zach Moss? I'm fine with I'm fine with third round Zach Moss. If that's where the Knights going to take us, <laughs> like whatever. Okay, Todd Gurley is on the board. Uh, are we on the clock? We we're not. We still have a few to go. Three five, and we pick at three twelve. Uh, let's see if the chat is helping us out anymore here. Taylor's twenty eight. A Rob and DJ Moore are twelve. Just flip it. I believe those guys are gone. How do you? Uh, how many questions you come up with before the show, Pete? So I will see I'm lazy and you see I crowdsource it, right? I make Twitter do my my heavy lifting, but the randomizer has probably like a hundred suggestions in there. And some of them that I think are really good, I put in multiple times, little peel behind the curtain there. I didn't know if you did new ones for every single episode, like all 60 or whatever they were. I was I, I'm, I'm I have impressed. some I have some bedrock ones, you know, the you know, NFC West, and then I tried to uh get a, a large majority that cater to the guest here. But if, if the chat forces us to take Todd Gurley, they are cruel. The one time we need them to fall on a landmine and they won't do it. We're going to double stack Atlanta Falcons. I'm a Falcons fan. And I don't want either of these guys. That's How did you, one. did you grow up in Atlanta? How'd you end up a Falcons fan? No, I just was, you know what? Mike Vick, Mike Vick, you know, I don't want to blame him, but I was <laughs> young and I was vulnerable. I was 11 <laughs> years old and he was just so cool. And he, and he preyed on me as a fan. I didn't have a team at the time. Uh, I fell in love with Vic, and I've kind of been a Falcons fan ever since, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. It, Michael Vick, uh, one of the uh, the hottest fantasy picks of all time, although that was when he was on the the Eagles was the, his number one overall year, right, where he was going 101 in, in some fantasy leagues? Well, he had the 1,000-yard rushing season with Atlanta, and then I think like shit went downhill after that, and by the time he was relevant again in the NFL, he was probably on Philly, so I don't know. Someone just reminded me I needed to spin for the second pick, which was uh, a very <laughs> good call there. Oh, all right. This is a Nick special here. I'm going to need you. Okay. We are on the clock. So we are going to draft Gurley. And now I need you to think fast and quick about an entrepreneur. Oh, uh, I can scroll through th some of these names. Yeah. Scroll through. Uh, does Lev Bell, I mean, he's a, he's an artist, right? Does he's that a rapper. Yeah. Oh. Terry McLaurin's all about his fucking business. I don't know if that counts as being an entrepreneur. What's uh what's his business? I saw he was fishing. What's his business? Uh a wide receiver on the NFL football field. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a great business. <laughs> um okay, quick. Keep going. These guys are too young. There's no way they started a business already. Okay. I, 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 we need uh, someone fast. What about quarterbacks? There's got to be quarterbacks that are entrepreneurs. Like Tom Tom Brady, his juice. Tom Brady, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, his fake okay. his fake nutrition juice. Come on. Come on. Uh, did we got him. No. Hey, Terry. He's about his fucking. What happens if we don't get it? This is this is the problem with the randomizer. You get pissed that you drafted Terry McLaurin over <laughs> Tom Brady, and I promise you, the chat is going to be pissed. They yeah, are team, going to be pissed. Our team is so good outside of Todd Gurley. Oh my god, they. I'll I'll do ten push-ups for that. That was my bad. That is was that, my bad. And they want you to take a shot, even though that wasn't your fault. I think you take a shot. I do ten push-ups, and and then we pay our our dues. Uh, lower kiss floor oh, Jesus. <laughs> see they're mad at us dude whack collusion punishment that was planned shenanigans oh shot what did, penalty would we commit murder this is these, this is vile these people it's like we're just trying to put on a show for these people and they want to see us suffer very rude. All right, why don't we spin the wheel so in case we have a thinker, we can get it ahead of time. Thank you. This is this is why I need you here because these are the things I forget <laughs> to do. You would think the concept of the show of just spinning the wheel would, you know, always be front of mind, but somehow it's not. Dude, the turn is tough, man. It is really tough. Thumbs down emoji. Now you're you're downvoting my video because of this? Ooh. So this is a Carl Jr. special. He's the head writer for The Randomizer. He put this one in. Gift and a curse. Kill time talking about your favorite memories of The Sopranos TV show. But then you must draft a New York Jet. Are you a Sopranos head, Nick? I'm not a Sopranos head. I have seen the series 
of course, but I, I'm going to be honest. I haven't watched it through and through since probably a couple of years ago. This is yeah. going to be a tough one. You might, you're going to have to put the team on your bike right now. Okay. What if I make a confession and say, I've only seen about three seasons of, uh, the Sopranos. All I know is I love the little kid that is, uh, he's like the fat chubby little kid. That's Tony's son. Yeah. He's a fucker. He is. And, uh, yeah, the, the chat is going to be so upset at us. And, why, uh, why don't we pretend, why don't we make up an episode of, of the Sopranos and we'll say it's real. Okay. Let's do the fantasy football themed episode of the Sopranos. The mafia starts a fantasy league. Dude, that'd be beautiful. We should actually do that as like another video. That'd be fun as shit. <laughs> so yeah, they they, they uh what what's the buy-in in the mafia league? I mean, it's it's probably like a 10G buy-in for like 10G buy-in. A couple guys throw their watches in, a couple guys throw their car keys in. The table's looking like a poker table with all different things scattered. Maybe someone's got a gun on the table. There's multiple guns on the table. Someone someone takes Todd Gurley ahead of another guy, fucking heads getting blown off. It, you know it's uh you know it's a six team league, right? Like they just all have <laughs> loaded rosters. Yeah, only only like the 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 main bosses are allowed to be in the league. Everyone else is serving them drinks and shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh we are gonna have to spin. We are gonna be drafting a jet here. Uh let me see here if I'll search NYJ. Oh god, are they gonna leave us Bell, Crowder, Paraman? I'm gonna put these guys in the queue. Do you have what? any love for the Jets this year? Uh I have no love for the Jets other than Gary V loving the Jets. And that's about the best connection I can get to them. If Le'Veon falls to us at the whatever we are, the 5-12, I'm not, I'm not going to have to walk out on the video if he gets – someone's going to end up picking him before us, though, because all the people that are in here probably watch this right now. This is the thing is normal. You know what they do is they take the good players when we want them and they let the bad players fall to us. If I have to do a draft with Todd Gurley and Le'Veon Bell, I mean, we, I do think we just have to shut it down. It is the geriatric team. These are all, Oh God. I'm okay. All right. We are going to spin for this second one here, but uh, any of you spec script writers out there, Nick and I just did the treatment for the episode. Get to writing it. We will executive produce. Do you have a dice? I think I do. I need to go back to my little poker <laughs> pit here. Why I'm gone, you look at the board here and figure out which six guys you want in the queue. We get to pick. Okay. I can't even see the board. He leaves me to look at the board, and I only see seven players on there. Can he do the draft board? Like, see the – oh, no, okay. Uh, you talking shit, dude? You talking shit? I talked a lot of shit. Okay. I told everybody to hit the thumbs down ASAP. <laughs> Yeah, they're already doing that. You don't have to ask <laughs> I know. Sorry, guys. I should get my props ready, but uh, we're good now. We got to die. Um, all right. So we're we're drafting a jet, and then talk to me through some of these guys at the six seven or the five six turn that would be in your top six. Think of it as a MySpace, Nick. Who are you putting in your top six? Oh man. Uh, so we we're taking like personalities into account. Are we taking out like. Did they have music on their uh, Lev Bell would be top because he's not only a MySpace guy, but he's a rapper too. Yeah. That was great for the MySpace thing. I think you can interpret this. Okay, Lev Bell goes. So we are going to be forced to take Jameson Crowder or Bashad Fairman. But let's figure out the matter at hand. I think this can just be your favorite players in this range. Your your top six guys who are still available, and then I'll roll for it. Okay. Um go up for me. Yeah. It's it's uh oh that's not <laughs> that's how gross it is. You're like there's I hate gotta be someone yeah. else better than David let's Montgomery. let's throw uh let's throw Demont in there. Yep. In the queue. Go down a little bit. Yep. Let's throw uh Rojo. Okay, now we're talking. A little bit more. Let's keep on creeping. Oh man, it's ugly. Uh six pick. Now nah, go back up. Okay. We got I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give the people what they want because if we go straight too far away from value, we're gonna get a bunch of people fucking crying in the chat. You know what? Fuck the value. Go all the way back down again. Let's do it. We've already fucked the value. We're about to take Jamison Crowder. Those are steal, in my opinion. All right, we need four more, Nick. I need four names here. Keep going down. Put Tyler Boyd on there. Yep. Is Eddie Lacy on here? <laughs> no, wait, not that gross. Not that <laughs> gross. Um Go back up. Yep. I feel like I'm like the Austin Powers 
uh, video where I'm just like hitting the walls back and forth. We can do. We got. Uh, we have thirty seconds. I need three names quickly for the roll. Yeah, calm, calm down. We're gonna get it. No, no, the chat's gonna be so bad at me. Don't worry, we're gonna get it. Uh, I guess throw, throw Keenan in there. Okay. Throw uh, Singletary. Quick. Yes. And One then more. throw. And then throw. Uh, Acres. Okay, they're going in order here. Uh, that's a two. That means it's Ronald Jones, baby. It's Ronald Jones. Click it. Don't mess this up. Like my my screen is. <sighs> Woo! That's totally on me. I was I uh, I sh I I was praying for your downfall, Pete. I'm not gonna lie. You. I I saw you. bagging son of a bitch. We're supposed to be in this together. We are, but I, I listen, I saw a pic of your peck somewhere and I was like, the guy needs some work and I am looking to shoot some tequila down my fucking face hole. So I'm going to, I'm going to take some of this. God, is that our this, punishment or are they going to give it? This draft, this is how I can tell you've been hanging out with Matt Kelly, Josh Jacobs, Todd Gurley, and David Montgomery. This is a Matt Kelly start. What are you doing to me? What do I owe? 10 pushups and you owe a shot? I'm throwing the game right now. I'm like fucking Pete Rose over here. I'm the Pete Rose of, of the randomizer. Oh, God. Oh. All right, people. Where's the chat at? Chug the bottle. It's going to be gone soon. Don't worry. Where are we at, people? This is the turn. I, I knew the turn was going to be. Nah, this is me. Like, this is just, I'm just being a really bad person right now. Like, really Wait, bad. Look I'm at not, my, I'm, my desk is just like cards and dice and. You know what? We, I mean, we would have been okay if, if you had that set up coming into it. <laughs> I would have. We've all made mistakes tonight. Every time there's a prop, you got to run to your <laughs> fucking kid's room to get it. Oh, my goodness. Everyone's, everyone's pissed off at us. We're all Good. pissed off. No Good. one's having fun. This is the dream. This is the dream. <laughs> the dream. All right, Nick. All right. Zendaya? Anyone? Are you calling Zendaya? She's not my friend. We're married. <laughs> Wait, did, oh, I have a funny TikTok that I actually want to show you afterwards. Any friend I could call? Anyone. This is dealer's choice. All right, I'm going to call Animal. Can you show the draft board? Or we're, no. we're, Animal. You're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and I'm phoning a friend right now. Can you hear me? Oh, this is sick. Are you watching the randomizer? No. Okay. Well, we are you high? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. So we are on the we're about to be on the clock, and the wheel that spun said I have to call a friend and ask for the draft pick. All right, that's exciting. Okay. So you're you're that friend, unfortunately, and I'm gonna have to get the draft pick from you. All right, this is good stuff. You're gonna get a great guy. I, I shouldn't have called you. Huge mistake. Okay, so we're up in like, uh, oh, we got a while, right? 12 picks? Hey, considering our back history, let's act like it's uh, due here in about 30 seconds. Okay, I don't, <laughs> probably a good idea. Okay, so right now, are, what are you think we're, we should pivot off the position right now? Or are we keep racking up these skill players? What's your team looking like here? What, what, what round are we in? I need some info. All right, so we're we're gonna be going into the seventh round. We got the seven twelve. So we're at the we're at the turn. We're not up for another twelve picks. So far, we got Jacobs, Gurley, and David Montgomery at running back. We got Julio, Terry McLaurin, and Jamison Crowder at wide receiver. So we're just stacked. We have absolutely no holes in our lineup at this point. We okay. we haven't drafted a quarterback or a tight end yet. I I don't think we want to go in that direction yet i propose we don't draft either of them and just really give it a run at the running back position all in but again you get to make this choice here so left on the board Rohim. you know what in my video today i said most start and people kept getting angry at me is it most dirt like can i be a french guy one time in my life is it most or most i mean listen I thought it was Mostert, but I think Mostert makes it seem exotic, and we like exotic players in fantasy football. So. I got to get us back on track. The, the, we like <laughs> chat wants me to spin. I'm I'm paranoid. I'm gonna have to do more push-ups. Let's go, baby. Let's okay. go. Okay, okay. So we got Mostert. We got Devin Singletary, J.K. Dobbins, Brandon Cooks, Julian Edelman, uh, Tevin Coleman, Deontay Johnson, and then everyone kind of fucking stinks after that. To be honest. So I mean. With this COVID year and everything, I like J.K. Dobbins. I don't like the San Francisco backfield. It's too much of a mystery. It's really just Ingram and Dobbins. Give me Dobbins. 
Okay. All right, we're, we're going to queue up like one or two more because we keep getting sniped on our picks. And then, uh, wait, who's on the clock right now? Dude, what's the name of that team? Uh, oh, no, never mind. Oh, Eric Blair already went. I thought it was someone that was like spamming me. This is for our second one, just in case we need to start prepping for this one too. Okay, we can okay. deal with that one. We can deal with that one. So let's focus at the task at hand, the phone a friend. All right, so who do you like second most out of this? So you got Singletary, um, Evan Ingram, Deontay Johnson, um, uh, I don't like Johnson yet. Uh, plus, you have nice wide receivers. I like running backs. I mean, if you don't have a tight end, who's available? Give me the tight ends. Give us the tight ends. Feed me. Ingram, Tyler Higby, Hunter Henry, and Gronk, and Hayden Hurst. Ugh. Yeah, it's ugly. There's, there's nothing yeah, to... Fade, fade the tight end. Fade the uh, tight end. You heard the man. All right. We, we uh, can't fade everything. Why not? I, so, I guess, I, I guess I'd go Singletary. Singletary, cue him up. That's my second choice there. I'm not a huge Singletary guy, but... You're going to have to stay on the line because Dobbins just went off. <laughs> we're, we're about to pass. This guy's taking five wide receivers in one tight end. What's he doing? I'm stressed right now. I have anxiety. Uh, so Singletary, uh, thoughts on Jordan Howard, Marlon Mack. Uh, God, okay. I'm going to say Miko Hardman because – Hey, God, I need you, Nick, to start – Okay, we're on the clock. We're drafting we're Singletary? Singletary. We got okay. him. He, he landed. Lock it in. Yeah, I don't lock. like it, but it's not my team. Beautiful. Lock All right, it in. You- all right, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Nick, quick, we have uh, 40 seconds for you to think of a player you think likes margaritas as much as him. The chat is saying that Gronk loves Mark. Yeah. Have any other candidates? It's got to be It's got to be Gronk. It's just so obvious it smacks you in the face. If we had more time to go down the list, I might be able to think of something. Are you going to take him? Oh, you got Singletary. Yeah. Uh, go, this- go down. Go down the list a little bit. Maybe something yeah. will pop off. Who's a yeah. Mark guy here? Who's Carson Wentz definitely doesn't drink. No, no way. Um, Gronk's name just slaps you in the face. It really does. I'm trying to think here. I feel like Stafford might might have might be a Mark guy at this point. Like he maybe last year he stopped drinking Bud Light and went to Mars. Yeah, I Gronk? uh, it, it, Gronk is all. Yeah, we got to go Gronk. If anyone uh, would get a margarita tattoo to match yours, it's Rob Gronkowski. Hundred. Does he, does he have any tattoos? Does Rob Gronkowski have? I feel like he's kind of a clean slate. Low key, he's like one of the most behaved people in the world, I feel like. He is. He kind of has cultivated that party boy image, but he's actually pretty buttoned up. Yeah, I'm pretty sad about that. I feel like he might be low key a fraud. Um, I don't think there's just lots of people that have their own tattoos. But yeah, look at this. I mean, he's he's a blank canvas. What? That's so weird. Yeah. I would have guessed at least one. He's got to have one on a leg or something, maybe on his ass. He he would have an ass tattoo and nothing else. There you go. So maybe Rob Gronkowski gets a margarita ass tattoo in solidarity with you. He has to now. I'm going to tweet at him every single day <laughs> until he answers me about a mark tat. All right. We have a, a little pause in the action here. Let's do a state of the union on this team. I mean, a high testosterone, four running back draft, Julio Jones, McLaurin, Crowder, and Rob Gronkowski. This, this team is really high T. Dude, I'm going to be honest, like compared to a lot of the teams that you've drafted on the randomizers, this is this might bring home the 10K, the 20K. There's the there's the the, there's the 20K. And also my guy, Cody Carpentier, has created a randomizer tournament with all these teams. So we also have a chance to take that down as well versus the other randomizer teams. Is that just like a pride thing? Like I just get to talk shit to like Ray GQ and stuff if we uh, if we win. Well, you're really kind of backing me into a corner. Yes, I am going to contribute a hundred thousand dollar prize pool to the randomizer <laughs> <laughs> tournament. Uh, yeah, big outfit here. Uh, and you you take half of whatever <laughs> whatever team wins, right? <laughs> yeah, I do have a hundred and ten percent rake on that prize pool, but <laughs> love that it's a great great thing. Not, not very different than most of the companies in the space. Yeah, Cody is our uh, thought leader on that tournament. The creator, he says we might have the best team. Must draft. Oh, if we could draft Terry again, Ooh. I'd be all in. All right, this is, I feel like we've had some absolute craziness. Things are settling down. We're here to build a monster. We're here to build a winner. NFC East. We forced this randomizer into submission. It knew to stop fucking with us. All right, so we can go, what about the, we have the Giants wide receivers. I feel like Slayton is probably, possibly still on the board. Let's see here. Yeah, I saw Slayton put him in the queue. Yep. I'm not a big fan of of, of Shepard. It's like a f- boring floor play in in best ball. Uh, quarterbacks. I mean, we, do we have a quarterback? We 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 need a quarterback. 
Okay. So DJ's on the board there. You could throw him in the queue. Yep. <sighs> Running backs. Let's see. Washington. Um, hey, there goes Antonio Gibson. Yeah, why I think we're running back is pretty gross here for NFC East. Yeah, no way. I, I, it looks like Giants are our saviors right now, which is a, a disgusting thought. This is a very uh, New York centric show. We had the Jets pick. Now we uh, are getting driven towards the Giants here. Uh, have you adopted a New York team now that you've been living in New York? No, I I hate the New York teams because like my friends are so annoying and they're all <laughs> New York fans. And I can't stand them. So they I, I like I should be a New York fan. I think I would if if I didn't hate my friends so much. Let's see here. We are getting some suggestions for other wide receivers. Someone mentioned Rager. Someone mentioned Lamb. Those guys might be gone. Rager's gone. Lamb's gone. Yeah. I mean, dude, these drafts get gross so quickly. <laughs> it's because people target us like me. I was targeting. I, you know what I was really thinking about doing? I was thinking about going on my underdog account and <laughs> joining <laughs> this draft to sabotage us. Just, wow, that would be some next level. That would be all time game. fucking meta shit right there. What is, your, what is your username? Would I have sniffed that out, or is it a hundred percent? Yeah, it would have been like Nick BDG. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My uh, my sensors would have been going. All right, let's uh, let's get the second one going here. Okay. How many shots deep are you right now? Uh, two shots and probably half a glass of tequila. All right, we're on our way. We got a strong buzz. Must draft a wide receiver under five eleven. So I feel like that's a sweet spot. I have I have an idea. How tall is Golden Tate? Could we stack Dude, Daniel Jones with Golden Tate? I love where your head's at. Let me check. I know. Are you stacking in these things? You all about that stack life? Uh, you know what? Like I, I really don't believe anyone when they say that like this percentage makes best ball better. People just talking out their asses from like one number from last year. But yeah, let's let's fucking stack it up. Golden Tate five ten. Lock it in. I'm just checking here. Any other why? Uh, Anthony Miller's got to be under five ten. Um, he's a little guy. He's a little guy. Uh, but I do like. I, I don't mind getting that stack there. I'm sure someone's gonna fuck with us here. I know Rothy is in the chat. Let's see if he's an asshole. But we do have the Anthony Miller backup plan. What about? Actually, never mind. I lied. Oh, there what, goes what about Anthony. Curtis? What about Curtis Samuel? Oh yeah, he's a real little guy. And then it also sets us up if we need to later. We could get uh, Teddy's pretty cheap if we do go for that. Not that we're trying go. to stack our fourth wide receiver. Not, <laughs> not that we're trying to win or anything over yeah. here. Oh, God. He does take Daniel Jones. That's such a dick move at 9-10 there, dude. Oh, he does have Ingram, so I'll give it to him. What are we, what are we doing here? So we have to take a giant. What? Uh, is there any NFC East quarterbacks left? Let's Wentz see. is definitely off the board. Jones off the board. We're not about to take Haskins. Hang on, real quick. Do you prefer Shepard or Tate for our uh, our giant? Uh, I'll I'll take Shepard. Okay. No, I lied. I like Tate. I like Tate okay. more. All right, I got Tate, and then we do. So now we're gonna go back to back wide receivers under five eleven. Back to back rule, um, guys. Uh, so yeah, we can't take a quarterback with this prompt now that we took that. So it's go down a little bit on the yep. on the wide receivers. Paris Campbell, is he? He's pretty short, right? Yeah, I feel like Paris Campbell is kind of like a shitty version of Curtis Samuel this year, though. I, I don't hate Renfro. What are your thoughts on Renfro? I don't mind Renfro, but I think he's taller than that. Really? Why yeah. do I feel like he was like 5'8"? No, oh, he's kind of sneaky, like six feet, I think. Why did you, no, you're, why right, did you, you're right. Why did you type that in backwards? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of my element right now. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so we we do need a quarterback. Otherwise, though, this team is cruising. Well, they just keep telling us fucking wide receivers. They're just like every wide receiver running. Actually, they haven't given us a running back prompt, so I'm just lying. But I feel like they keep telling us to do wide receivers. All right, let's take a sip. Let's take a sip, and let's pray to the randomizer gods for a QB-friendly pick here. Cheers. Hey. Cheers to the Ocho. Mm. Oh, that's good, dude. Oh, I love me a nice margarita randomizer, please. Yes, I have been outed as a dyslexic. I made it this far in life <laughs> without anyone knowing. <laughs> Let's see. Big money. Okay. This could be cute. Say that shit. <laughs> say, don't even fucking say another word of the statement. <laughs> Is Eddie Lacy even in the system? See if he's in the, he's going to be back in the NFL by the time the season starts and Corona hits. Thank <sighs> God he's not in here. Just Chris Lacy. What do you mean, thank God? 
We can't. We need. Okay, do you know what kills me is normally I'd say Big Ben here because he's always overweight, but he's slimmed down. Guy looks good. Guy looks good. Has any of these quarterbacks gained weight? Uh, no, nah, dude. Quarterbacks just stay the same. If there was one, like, it's uh, kind of, this is a damn shame. This is so. We, I mean, we're gonna have to fade quarterback. We're gonna have to, no. Can't we? Can't we? Can't waste time. We can't Opportunity cost. Throw it in the back. We can't force it. We need to find a chunky boy. That's what we need to find. So it's here. someone that gained the weight this off season, right? Yeah, I. Who who uh yeah so like we've heard stories of Marquise Brown bulked up That's Brown he's there gone. was um Rojo Rojo bulked up Leonard Fournette looked like shit in the gym but he's off the board too Ooh someone say Rivers has been putting on that dad weight should we see a current picture Yeah I was gonna say maybe one of the old quarterbacks let themselves go and Rivers I feel like is prime time candidate for that Let's see here um what's a better way to search for this uh. Philip Rivers, can you just put Colts? Uh, yeah, let's see here. You put a, a Twitter search too here. Yeah, you know, I'll work on Twitter. You stay on Google. Yeah, chat, if you guys help us out. Uh, <laughs> Notorious says, uh, Nick Foles, all that weight goes to his third leg. Uh, <laughs> have you seen the gut on Garoppolo? I refuse to believe that he is. Uh, I'll tell you what, Rivers looks kind of fucking ripped right now. Does he? If anything, he lost then. Yeah, he lost a dime. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. no. I've been Rivers Colts. Rivers Colts, all right. Rivers Colts, yeah. Not Colts Rivers. First thing that pops oh, up. Oh God, dude, he is slim. You know what I mean? Like he's he's cut. The steps are popping. The steps are fucking popping. I was, yeah, I was not. Ex- he literally looks like he lost twenty pounds. Yeah, God. Okay. Maybe that two negatives make a positive. Two- Let's see some of the maybe any of these tight ends. Wait, 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 wait. Is Joey Burrow still on the board? Do you see that picture yes. of him at the gym? He looks thick. He looks thick. He definitely put on a 10 piece. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna search Bengals Burrow. Yeah, Burrow Jim. Put Jim too afterwards if we can't find it here. Okay. Oh, there was this one here. There's one of him with his shirt off at the gym. Okay. Fuck. Come on. Joe Burrow workout. Okay, that's not Joe Burrow. All right, this is uh some Burrow. People say Burrow is the pick. Hang on, I don't. I need to see. Uh, this is uh, this show is now just turned into Nick and I googling things. <laughs> Shirtless uh, men to see if they got fat. <laughs> so hang on, someone now is saying Mayfield. You guys are you guys actually nah. basing this in evidence? <laughs> Mayfield looks like a fucking hobo, but I don't think he gained any weight. And now I'm like, like, what am I even saying? <laughs> You're going down a political fucking rabbit hole here. This has turned into an episode of MSNBC with my guest, Nick Ercolano. I don't, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. Joe Burrow tells Coach he wants to bulk up. What about, wait, wait, wait. I just saw a, uh, oh, no, never mind. Dumb All right, up. Hart shot it down. He said Burrow is 221 at the draft. He's 215 now. Um, no, 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 dude. Joe Burrow got thick. I'll put that on my mother. Now, bro, is now that that harps. I don't. You're fake news. <laughs> okay, we are running out of time. This is what I'm gonna do. We really need. I'm gonna spin. We're, no, first no, we're gonna we're gonna fucking backdate this. We're gonna make that pick of Joe no, Burrow, no. and I'm gonna prove it to people okay. that he's fat. All right, I'm putting. I'm I'm queuing that up to make sure we have him there. Love that. All right, we can do these two. We can do these two. What was the next one? I, I, that's that's weird that you know how how well your grandma googles. I wouldn't I wouldn't show her short like that. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm trusting Nick. Nick has already said that he's going to back test this to prove all the haters wrong. So I'm good with that. Now we're back to work looking for a rookie. Although it would be nice to. I feel like we keep doubling up on the prompts because Joe Burrow covers both of our bases there. Wait, the second I didn't see the second spin. It was the rookie? second one is a is a rookie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. There's no other rookie quarterbacks to take, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, two will super late, but that would be pretty early. So, do we um, want to do we want to use another? Do we have another thick pick? See, that's the thing. If we could get the thick pick, we could slide Burrow to the rookie pick. Um. All right, this is gonna. We have 28 seconds. Uh. Oh, see, the chat wants us to draft Lavisca Chenault for the rookie. Do we just do Burrow Lavisca? They I, I want mean, it. 
Pete, Pete, I know, I know they don't want it. I know you want it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna let that pick. Hey guys, I just want you to see if you think it's just me or if you think Visca Visca is the option. There oh, is only wow. one La Visca Visca dance party. Okay, well here's the thing. Yeah, because you fucking slid them down your Visca sick twisted mind game hole. So of course they're gonna yell for Visca because they want you to do weird shit. I'm in. I'm in on Visca though. Let's do it. All right. Uh, you know, we might have just, you know, happened to make a little dance party LaVisca Chanel highlight reel that could potentially roll here in 10 seconds after this pick. I mean, I don't know. It, it could be. <laughs> it could be there. Who knows? Uh, we were picking in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Visca highlight reel. Nick, is that a grown ass man or what? That song fucking slaps, man. That got me so pumped up before the video started. I was fucking running around my apartment. I didn't even know if I was going to be in my chair by the time it started. There you go. There you go. Get an audio blocks account and figure out how to search that shit like me and you can get those bangers on your programs as well. <laughs> Love it. Uh, um, all right. What a turn there, dude. I Our team, this thing is... I like this team, Nick. I this is a chip like team. This is a chip team with chip dreams. I'm in on this. It, and we have, uh, you know, I dare I say we have optionality. I mean, we have covered our bases positionally. I mean, we can do whatever the fuck we want now. Wow. Okay. So hold on. <laughs> so I just got a tweet from Harbs posting uh -oh. the link to the article about Joe Burrow dropping weight after the draft. Uh oh. I still don't believe it, though. When I pull up the pick, you guys are going to look at his fucking body. Well, here's the thing, Nick. The draft was a long time ago. Yeah. Well, that ar that article, I I, I assumed when oh, I clicked on the article, it was going to be like May 30th or something. But that, that date might present a problem for us. Nick, I can gain like 15 pounds in a weekend if I want to. I mean, a lot could have happened since August 2nd. I've seen you eat the cake. I've, se I've seen that happen. <laughs> I mean, also, yeah, someone brings a good point. I mean, this is a pro football talk. Are we really going to trust these guys of a, as a bastion of journalism? See, Josh knows. doesn't count if it's from PFT. All right, I think we're in the clear. And I do trust that this photo you're going to unearth. And Nick, if you have to Photoshop it, whatever you need to do to clear our good name, just please do it. Okay, um, okay we need to go back to the wheel. We got lots to do. Lots to do. This team slaps. LaVisca Chenault slaps. Burrow drinks at least 10 pounds of water. See, we can justify this. I'm going to find it. Okay. Snipe a player another team needs to complete a stack. Should we Should we go after the guy who sniped us from Daniel Jones? 100%. That this guy, is perfect. We need a quarterback. Okay. That was, let's see. What was his name? Was it Epic? No. Who was it? Oh, it was Rafi. He took Daniel Jones. So let's look at his wide receivers here. He's got Adams. Thielen, Cup, Parker, Hilton, Rug, Shepard. Jeez. Uh, okay, so we can go A Rod, Kirk, Goff. We can Kirk. go Kirk is there. Kirk is there. Goff, Goff is, is there. there. Let's go Goff over Kirk. Yep. Miami. Do we want to go with, with Fitzy or Tua? I, let's uh I'll put them both in the queue just so we have our options. Phillip Rivers. Wow, this queue works out well. We can grab like any we, of the guys. And, and Derek Carr with rugs. Boom, six for six. Roll the fucking dice again, baby. There we go. Hey, Rothy, I know you want that stack, but you can't have it, brother. Sure, you might have six backup plans, <laughs> but the one you want the most, you can't have it. We're taking the one you want. Here we go. Well, all Nick and I do is win. All we do is win. We take what we want. <laughs> Shout out to the goat. Let's see. Here. Right. Let's see here. They want us to take golf. We can do that. Wow, we keep getting all the uh... – wait, did we already have NFC North, Nick? No, uh, we did NFC South and NFC East. NFC East, jeez, we're just the entire NFC. We're covering our bases. Who is NFC North? This is Cardinals, Seahawks? No, the NFC North is uh, Green Bay, Minnesota. Minnesota. Lions, right? Packers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Minnesota, right. Green Bay, Chicago, Detroit. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're gonna get our second quarterback. And we're going we're going golf priority followed by cousins. Yeah. Do you typically t- how many quarterbacks you usually take in best ball? So if I wait this long, I'm definitely uh normally taking three. Okay. What do about we, you? Do we double tap? I usually do that too. I depend on like what I did with tight end quarterback. And if yeah. I usually go three or two one way or another, depending on how bad the positions are and considering both of ours are really bad. Uh, I don't, I don't know which way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think with this one, yeah, normally it comes down to what you do at tight end. Um, I think we could be okay with two tight ends. If we can grab another one here, do we have an NFC North tight end? That might really help us. Irv Smith, uh, Irv and, and Jace are right there. Uh, but both of them could like put up consistent zeros back to yeah. just like every single week. Yeah. The only other thought about that is looking at this queue for tight ends. I mean, it's getting pretty gross. It's disgusting. All right. So we are going to grab, uh, grab golf here. Okay. And then the question is, so I'm going to leave these two tight ends in the queue, unless there's someone else in the NFC North that we absolutely have to have. We got All right. AJ take the, Dillon. Take the quarterback out. Cause we're not, we won't double tap quarterback here. Yep. Jeez. Why am I so bad at this? Turn your brain on Pete. We're there. We're there. All right. We got golf. Oh, dude, this is ugly. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going Dylan. Uh, dude, I think we need to take a tight end based on the board. Yeah, I think we do, too. It, it's just like prime position for us to take one of these two guys. Who do you prefer of Irv and Jace? Uh, honestly, I, I kind of prefer Jace. I feel yeah. like Irv's upside is just like a made up theory. Like we we saw what he's not going to do with Kyle Rudolph in the lineup there. At least yeah. Jake has like the clear path to tight end one. Uh, okay. Well, I accidentally just took Irv. No, I mean I I wanted Irv bad. That was reverse okay. psychology. Reverse psychology. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> um, Tony says he just tagged you uh, on Twitter with the Burrow pick. If if someone can get that or post it, in there the it chat is. Here. There it is. He's looking fucking so thick. Nick, Nick, post it in the in the private chatter so I can get I'm it up. I'm just on gonna the retweet it straight to my Twitter. I okay, just on there for the world. So go to my my Twitter page and you'll see Fat Burrow. Thick oh Burrow. my God, you're right. You're right. I'm putting this up on the stream. You're, Here there's we no go. way that's not at least an extra ten pounds, dude. That is that's not low key thick. That's high key thick. He ate a lot of cake. He ate a lot of Ritos. This is from July 26. Pro Football Talk is a sham publication. We just went to the source material here. Joe Burrow is a thick king. Like, what are you talking about? He le- he he fucking dropped six pounds. I take it all back. You fucking right, Harbs. Don't you ever come at me like that again? So you can't get in my head. I, I'm so deep in my own fucking head. Joe, this is a question I ask myself basically every single time I'm on air. Uh, what kind of stream is this? This is a fucking. This is a winner's stream. That's right. I mean, this thing. This team can cook, dude. This team can absolutely cook. I mean, we are just the the best ball historians, the guys that look at win rates and roster construction, they're going to look at this thing and be like, how did you pull this off? How did you land on these combos? What was the process? You know what's funny? Like, listen, everyone always talks about process over results in fantasy. Like, give me results every time. I'll take results if you want to take the process. Fuck that. That's what we're doing. We're building a results-based team over here. (laughs) <laughs> that's right and uh what powered our process well it was tequila and push-ups and just being enraged at the chat at all times <laughs> that's that's the ingredients to success very angry we're <laughs> very upset <laughs> uh we are in round wow we are we only have four more picks this Good life math. comes math. at you fast <laughs> math adds up i got my uh my ti 83 here in case we need to do some math some the same year as nick Nick, is it rude to ask a fellow content creator how old they are? I don't even remember when I was born. <laughs> uh, 92, 92. 92. Okay, so that makes you, I was born in 87. Oh, you are a young pup. You're still in your 20s? 27, okay. baby. You are 27. 27. Um, so if I search dyslexic style, 27 years old, NFL players. Now it's like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> let's see here um, make sure you're not clicking an article from 2016 though what is the uh nfl age database i don't know i need something here to help me just, out with just give me some names and i'll type it into player profiler as you as you peel them off 
Okay. Okay. That's good. Um, all right. Someone just said that we have a double quarterback buy. I'm going to speak on behalf for both Nick and I and tell you that that is literally the last of our concerns right now. Also, that just means we have ultra quarterback points for every other week. All right. Uh, Carpentier says to search uh, Teddy Bridgewater in Bortles. Uh, <laughs> not Bortles. Search Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater. B, Teddy B, 27. Put him in the queue. Okay. And so he was, he was that, uh, that was the 2014 draft class, right? So maybe we're looking in guys in that range. Good call. Even though I feel like that just adds another math step for us. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Wait, I think Teddy's God. I think Teddy's God. Shit. This is where the chat, I mean, this is where you guys have to come in. I mean, Nick and I can't do this all. All right. Carpenter's coming in huge. Mostert, Most McKinnon. Ooh, yeah. McKinnon could be sick. Mostert's gone. Devonta Freeman, I wouldn't draft. No, you can you oh, can pay me the twenty k up front to draft him. Um. Uh. Okay. Devonta Freeman. I mean, no. do you think he's gonna sign? No. Okay. He fucking stinks. Go go to. Uh, Someone uh, said Tyrod. Ty Tyrod's like forty, bro. No way. Is, come on. What is going on with these guys? Give me some names that you think might be in the range. Jamal Williams, twenty five. Now he's young. Uh. Who else? Who else? Who else? Okay. Um, I type see. really fast. Just give me names. D.D. Westbrook. Yeah, I think he's young too. Um, keep going. Oh, uh, what? How old is Derek Carr? Ah, Twenty six point seven. Wow. Derek Carr. Um, uh, Lashawn McCoy. <laughs> Derek Carr, twenty nine. Lashawn McCoy is like at least fifty five. D- oh, someone. Oh, hang on. If Ryan is right on this, he he's got to be gone though. DeAndre Washington, look him up. DeAndre Washington is 27. Lock him up. He's gone. He's gone. We're in the, we're in the no, sixth. No, he's right there. Out. He's right there. Or he's, are you he, just... he was grayed out. He was grayed out. Um, Chris Conley. What? Where do you even pull that from? So the, the chat, the chat is going, uh, Robbie 27. Anderson. He okay. is. He is. Okay. Uh, Robbie good. Anderson is gone. Um, Sammy Watkins. Check him. He's still he's available. Gone. He's gone. Jesus Christ. These prompts get really hard at the end. Yeah. Um, okay. We're drafting Chris Codley. Let's spin here for our second pick. I'm kind of hoping we could stack him up and get Minshew because then we yeah. have the Conley Chenault. The Conley Chenault Minshew stack is unreal. Very under owned. <laughs> orgasmic. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Technically, Minshew has been on the COVID list. You're right. You're right. He oh, has because he got no. he got tested, right? Yeah, he dude, he went on the IR COVID list and it was a false positive or whatever the fuck they call it. it but was he was a, on it. He was on it. Dude, we're stacking it up. We're stacking up the Jags. It's not easy being the best in the world. It's really not easy doing this. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. How have I not made a Chris Conley Gardner Minshew hype reel that I could roll right now? I don't think that exists. Minshew Miracle. What a perfect perfect run out for us they doubted us nick i could see the look in the chat's proverbial eye they didn't think we could do it i feel disrespected right now Mm. oh wow they're now they're getting greedy they're getting greedy they want the quad stack with eifert (laughs) i mean i'm in i'm in like how else are we going to win these tourneys how how else you got it we got to open ourselves up to variance (laughs) it's all about variance (laughs) and regression uh, I first do for major positive regression, right? That's right. Yeah. Why don't you, um, I want to give you the floor here. I know you have thoughts about regression. You love it. You think every player is about to regress. Speak <laughs> on that. Uh, this is the topic that I hold near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'm probably analytically inclined the best in the industry at this point. So people bring up regression. And I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about, first of all. So this is what gets me angry. We talk about regression. Listen, I can't, I can't, I can't really like get into regression right now. <laughs> You've had too many shots of tequila to talk about regression. It, it makes me too angry. It makes me too angry because you got regression here, regression here. We only look at the most polarizing numbers when we want to talk about regression. Like Lamar Jackson not gonna throw 36 touchdowns. What if he runs for 15? Like Cam Newton ran for 14 his rookie year. He ran for 10 another year, 12 another year. Like Lamar only ran for seven. Why is he only got to regress in the passing touchdown category? We could positively, or we can also just say progress, right? We could say progress, and people are gonna get mad at me, right? Yeah, it will. And the thing, too, to your point about how you can use that argument in both directions is I hear it a lot for A.J. Brown, a guy that I love and I'm drafting everywhere. And they say, uh, you know, he's due for, you know, he's not getting enough targets. It's like, well, there could be regression in the amount of pass plays 
that that team runs. Like the volume could be upticking. So on every side of the the regression argument, you could have things offsetting it. So I'm just going to keep blindly drafting AJ Brown, and I don't care what people say. I agree. Like the higher, the better. The more regression <laughs> people get mad about it, the the better I know the pick was. That's the way I look at fantasy. And normally the players that we're talking about regressing are because they were hyper efficient with their uh, with their targets, and that just means they're really good at football. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Usually my problem is like when people start putting regression over situation, it's like, okay, you're just looking at a really high number rate and then you're just fading for that reason. But it's like, okay, they could still be really, really good at fantasy next year. Their statistics can come down and still smash. They, uh, the days. people are just in awe of the wisdom that our tequila soaked brains are sp spitting out right now. I'm in awe. I usually black out for my videos and I wake up and people are like, dude, that was so good. I'm like, really? <laughs> Love that. All right. We only have two more picks, 17-12, 18-1. I think it is time to return to the randomizer. We've laughed. We've cried. We've yelled. We've done push-ups. We've done shots. We've looked up Joe Burrow in every possible iteration. <laughs> From every angle. From <laughs> every angle. We zapruder Joe Burrow. <laughs> okay. Maurice Claret, first guy that comes to mind. Oh, man. Someone said we timed it up with a tweet about uh, A.J. Brown regression. There you go. We are uh, we are on it. Okay, Ohio State University, where are all my Debbie heads at? I only right. know like a handful. Terrell Pryor. We already took Curtis Samuel. He, he, what about uh, Teddy Ginn? I'll never forget that kick return he, he took to the cribbo. Ooh. First play of the game. There we go. There we go. You know what? I'm not on Ted Ginn that much this year, but I do prefer him in best ball, Nick. I mean, listen. It doesn't get it doesn't get deeper than what you just said right there. <laughs> uh, Carlos Hyde is gone. How many QBs do we already have? Our third, we have our third Q, right? Yeah, we probably should uh, chill on QB. I was gonna say we could have went with Dwayne, Dwayne the God. Oh yeah, you're right. Haskins would have been. You know what? I mean, if we're in a pinch, uh, yeah. So Hyde's gone. Haskins he, is not. He gone. technically the quarterback position scores the most points, right? Wait, yeah. Aren't we just trying to get points? Yeah. I mean, they, we could start four quarterbacks if we want to. We just choose not to because we're good people. But well, we could. And you and I both, I mean, we got the contacts of the people over at Underdog. What if we uh, hit them up, see if they change this contest to uh, Superflex on the fly? A little tweak. A little tweaky little tweak. Tweak. Everyone else is feeling a little exposed, a little skinny with their two quarterback teams. You're about to see 10 straight quarterbacks <laughs> rip off the board now that we just changed the whole rule up on them. Yeah, don't don't uh, discount our network. Nick and I can make this happen. Cool. Guys, you want Ohio State. You want Campbell. He's gone. He's long gone, guys. I just looked. The oh options God. right now, if you can give us something other than Ted Ginn or Dwayne Haskins, that's what we're working with. Carpentier is a workhorse, man. Who the hell is Benjamin Victor? Never heard of that guy in my life. That's a ridiculous fucking thing. Why are you doing that to us? <laughs> He's not even in the system. <laughs> uh, Hyde? Oh, no. Hyde's gone. They took Haskins. Oh, my God. I, really I really wanted the four quarterback duo. The right quad there. quarterback. Who took him? Chris? Okay, he actually did need another quarterback after only yeah, having one. And he took a second one on a bye, on the on the week eight bye. And he has Steven Sims. I'm going to allow it. It seems justified. Best stack this year, probably. Um, do we have another option? Wait, did other we did we spin the Devin Smith, KJ Hill, Ted Ginn, Noah Brown? Oh, you're right. We do have to spin again. Those all those other guys are are zeros every single week. Did you know? You know Benjamin didn't go to Ohio no, State. Get to Florida, Florida State. All right, we're on the clock. This is gonna be. We're gonna all right, take. We must draft a second year wide receiver. Okay. So this puts us in off the top of my head. Andy Isabella, JJ Arthega Whiteside. Goat. Are you a? Are you a? Oh, Isabella's gone. I mean, how? Oh, he Arthega. just went that pick. The last pick. Arcega is there. Arcega, cue him up. But let's go down the walk. Can you put a uh, Carpenter's comment? Oh down? shit. Shit, we just took our Sega because uh, – did someone take Ted Ginn? No. Did that what? happen? We we owed someone Ted Ginn. My bad. So I think to please the people, we need to like, take Ginn. I feel like it's only fitting now we, like, cheated, didn't we? I don't know why. I thought I had Ginn at the top of my queue. I don't know why that didn't happen. I think the underdog guys were watching and they're like, you can't bend the rules. We're about to break your draft. The chat can't be mad at us if we just did it, flipped the picks. Cause we were going to go again in our thega. Our, our intent was good. Like we're, we're good people. I think, right. Our, our intent is good. They, they want us to take shots. Look, I'll, I'll finish my drink with you here. Yeah, don't threaten me with a good time. 
Actually, I am going to go. I'm out of my drink. I'm going to go get a t- my tequila in solidarity with you. You hold down the fort. Don't say anything untoward. <laughs> Don't say anything at all. Who else is out here drinking with us? Same thing, Harbs. I'm going to drink without him and then fill back up. How we doing? Miles Boinkin, second year wide receiver. He's also he's about to put up the number of points that he has years experience in the NFL. Don't ever come in here with a Miles Boinkin suggestion again. <laughs> That's what I like to come back to, Nick, berating the chat. <laughs> They're being disrespectful. Miles Boykin, second year wide receiver. These guys, these guys just think they're geniuses to come up with someone who qualifies for the prompt. We're trying to thread the needle of someone who not only qualifies that can win us twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, like this is ridiculous. You guys think you can handle the hot seat? I think you can. Oh, you can't. You can't handle the hot seat. All right, we're gonna take another cheers here. We'll we'll do a state of the union on the team to wrap up here in a second. Love that. This has been a nice night. It's fun. Oh man, I thought I swore off tequila after last Wednesday night, but Nick pulls me right back in. Oh, and you say you don't know the Sopranos? Come on, (laughs) this is fucking key Sopranos on right there. That's right. That's right. The Sopranos, the Sopranos fantasy football spec script. I think that that has some likes. I I saw that in the Twitter thread, the comments, and I was like low key hoping that didn't come up because I knew I'd I'd embarrass myself by like in my Twitter profile. I lived in New Jersey for a while growing up and my location is set to Sopranos, New Jersey. (laughs) Now I feel like a really big fraud. What uh, uh, other prestige are uh, have you seen all of the wire? Yes, I've seen all the wire. Not in a while. Uh, I feel like I've seen most of the like the good HBO shows though. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the show Entourage. Pretty good though. Uh oh yeah, is that the one with uh with Vinny? Yeah, a guy named Vinny. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great show. <laughs> uh, Turtle? Turtle, Turtle, big big fantasy football player guy, right? Bro, so I lived in Williamsburg for the last year. I saw he li- Turtle lives there too. I saw him like five times. While I was there. He always goes to this like Starbucks right around the corner from where I lived, and he would sit there with his like headphones in and he did yeah. not want to be bothered. Really? He yeah. Got I was, too big for his britches. Yeah. I was really like a big regret of mine is not going up and like trying to talk to him. That's some vlog material right there. I know it would have been, I'm, 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 I'm embarrassed. I shouldn't have uh, admitted that. All right. I want the professional Nick broadcaster, fantasy football broadcaster rundown assessment of this team. I'll scroll down as you sell the people on why this team is a winner. Okay, so quarterback is lethal. I don't think there's really a lot of explanation that needs to be there. Between Burrow, Goff, and Minshew, we're getting at least two two 5,000-yard passers. We have two week nine buys, which means every other week is going to be flooding us with points. Running backs, I didn't realize we were only at four. That might be a little bit, bit of a problem. But apparently, uh, according to all of Twitter, Gurley's knee can take on 40 to 50 touches a week. <laughs> so the other running back spot that we don't have will be accompanied by Gurley's 50 touches wide receiver like this is just unrivaled i've never seen a squad like this we have 35 slot receivers and then <laughs> four more big slot receivers we got the six four slot receivers chris conley jgr sega white side there's no one that's not going to be running s- slot routes this year deadly wide receiver group tight ends gonna be a problem <laughs> 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 you you had me hyped and then you're just like no no tight end's gonna be a problem i couldn't i listen i mean the gronk pick is near and dear to my heart because it was margarita based but th- there's a chance like gronk just breaks his back in week one and the nerve smith i i just i can't get behind the fit like the the two tight end uh, you know Irv smith's breakout year is coming it's just it's too hypothetical and i'm just uh, i'm being negative right now i love our team i love our team pete i think we're bringing home the cash we, we drafted this team with our arms tied behind our back, proverbially speaking, and we built a winner. We built a monster. Not only is this thing going to take down the randomizer tournament created by Cody Carpentier, it is also going to take down the bubble. That's a cool 20000 After taxes, we're probably looking at, what, like thirteen, fourteen thousand. 14000 We split that two ways, $7,000 each. I mean, that's, you know, that's uh, buying us a really nice tequila-fueled booze cruise, I'd say. Do you want to start a tequila company? If we yeah, do it, just we George our, Clooney style. Pool our money. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And I feel like you said yours was called the Ocho or what was yours? So this is, ironically, so Jeremy uh, 
Levine, the, the oh yeah, yeah. The, the founder of of Underdog. I don't, I can't probably say the next part out loud, so I'm not gonna. But he's, I was on a call with him like a couple of weeks ago, and he, you know, Drizzly the app. Yeah, yeah. It's like delivery alcohol. So he sent this to me because we had started talking about tequila. He was like, "This is my favorite kind." He sent it to me, and I ripped through the first bottle, and I was like, "Dude, this is so fucking good." So I've been, uh, I've just been sipping this tequila ocho. It's you know, I'm not a psycho. I promise, I'm not a maniac that just like sips tequila typically. But this is a a tequila that tastes really good if you do like tequila. So this is in my my fridge now and freezer 1800. I can get on board too. What, why do all the tequilas have eights in it? So if we launch our own, are we gonna 88 tequila, uh, crazy eight? Tequila. I mean, I think that's that's a precedent. Crazy Eight's pretty good. I like that. There we go, what guys. About the, what about eight oh eight eight? Like the eight oh eight draft pick, eight oh eight tequila. Yeah, yeah. What is eight oh eight? Is that a what area code is that? Uh, honestly, that might be like part of. It's a f Hawaii. Okay, eight oh eight Hawaii. Um, why, did, why did we both act like we knew that? <laughs> I don't know because it sounds. Oh, maybe because of the Kanye 808 and heartbreaks. And heartbreaks, yeah, yeah, possibly. Oh man! All right, Nick, what do you got going on? You got a fledgling podcast slash video network. You got bunk bed pods. You got why you yelling pods. What are you cooking up these days? I don't know, dude. I've lost complete control of what's going on <laughs> underneath me. To be honest with you, you got a lot of pods. Uh, you could find me on YouTube. It's just my name, Nick. Urcolano and Twitter, Nick underscore BDGE. You'll probably unfollow me semi quickly. So I don't really want to plug anything else. Awesome, guys. Well, this was a truly fun and disastrous time. I both love and hate you all. Special <laughs> guest to Nick, who opened up the show setting a world record for tucking and untucking his shirt. I mean, that was, I'm, I'm going to clip that up and I'm going to CC Guinness World Records because I think you did it. That's huge. It was tough. It was tough because the button down shirt is actually like three pieces need to be tucked the right side, the left side and the back. So realistically, I tucked it like 22 and a half times in 30 seconds. If you do 1.5 X it, right? That, that's I mean, I listened to all my podcasts at 1.5 X and I uh, hang on. I do have one question before we go. What, what do you use that calculator for? What are, you, what are you doing over there with that? So I'm like a guy who needs, I have whiteboards all over my apartment. I don't know if yeah. you see that in the back. I'm a guy who needs to like see the numbers and like do them out tangibly and physically. Otherwise, yeah. like if I try to do stuff in Excel, I, I don't know, I get lost. So I, I literally do, if I'm looking at stats and stuff, I'll do like handwritten and then do it through the calculator. And everybody gets like really riled up every time. It, I like, I'll accidentally leave it like here in my video and they'll be like, what the fuck is that TI-83 doing there? And I'm just like, I don't know, calm down. Why are you yelling about the TI-83? Don't worry about it. That's where you do all your regression analysis is on that TI-83. Dude, we have a regression button on here. <laughs> I wore it out. It doesn't work anymore because I hit it all the time. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Did you ever play the game, uh, the cartel game on TI-83? Remember that? No. Did you ever in high school have the games on there? No, I never unlocked that one. I wasn't bad. Oh, man. At See, maybe I'm dating myself being uh, five years older than you. There used to be this like drug game that you could get on TI-83 where you sold opium and stuff and you tried to run it up. Uh, that's how I spent my time in, in algebra class, apparently. Like, why would that be on a TI-83? That's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, there's weird stuff back then. Um, all right, guys, this was a truly wonderful time. We will see you next week for more streams. For the big dog, for LaVisca Chenault, for drafting Jamison Crowder, for the Sopranos, for the 808s, for Dyslexic, for low-key thick Joe Burrow, <laughs> this has been the Randomizer Show. We'll see you guys next time.